Tutorial for Multi-Stim Switch Pyonk Multi-Stim Switch can be used for the location of both peripheral nerves and for epidural stimulation. Its application is recommended for all purposes requiring the identification of nerves, nerve bundles and nerve roots. With this device, Pyunk has laid the foundation for a new generation of nerve stimulators, which will guarantee maximum safety and efficiency. The nerve stimulator has five control keys. Toggling between cannula, catheter, setup, on, off, pause, impulse bandwidth, 1 Hz, 2 Hz, and a turning knob. The digital display indicates the following. Impulse bandwidth, battery condition, patient resistance, current intensity, actual patient current, active output, impulse emission. The multi-stim switch is simultaneously connected to the cannula and the catheter by a Y patient cable. This cable has a yellow connector for the stimulating catheter, a white connector for the cannula, a clamp for the adhesive electrode. On, off, pause key. Press and hold the on button to start the device. The device will then automatically initiate a self-test sequence. Then switch to the pause mode. The LCD display will start to flash. Depressing the turning knob will deactivate the pause function. Repressing will activate it. Pulse width. The bandwidth of the stimulation impulse can be changed by pressing this button. The value of the current intensity and the milliampere dimension will disappear from the display. Now the stimulation impulse bandwidth, which is indicated in the upper right hand corner of the display, can be adjusted to the desired value between 50 microseconds and 1.0 milliseconds with the aid of the turning knob. Pulse Repetition Frequency The desired pulse repetition frequency can be selected with this button 1 Hz 2 Hz Output Channel The multi-stim switch provides two alternative options for stimulation via a cannula or through a stimulating catheter. This switchover function enables the anaesthetist to toggle between the catheter and the cannula. If stimulation by cannula is activated, then a needle symbol will appear on the display. The maximum stimulation current intensity will be 6 milliamperes. If stimulation by catheter is activated, then the word cath will appear on the display. Here, the maximum stimulation current intensity will be increased to 20 milliamperes and will correspond with the specific requirements of epidural stimulation. The intensity and the frequency of the stimulation current, as well as the impulse bandwidth, can be adjusted and preset separately at any time for the two outputs, cannula and catheter. Display of patient resistance. Incorrect placement of the cannula is recognized immediately through continuous indication of the patient resistance. The multi-stim switch therefore provides an essential advantage regarding safety for the patient. Medical studies conducted under the direction of Dr. Ban Sui have confirmed that patient resistance will increase distinctly in cases of intraneural, intravascular and intrathecal punctures. The actual value of the patient resistance is indicated in analog form by two bar graphs at the bottom edge of the display. The lower bar graph indicates resistances between 0 and 20 kilo ohms at a resolution of 0.5 kilo ohms. The upper bar graph shows values between 20 and 60 kilo ohms at a resolution of 1 kilo ohm.
An acoustic signal will be emitted for double safety if a predefined threshold value of the patient resistance is exceeded. This threshold value can be individually determined in advance via the setup button. In this example, 25 kilo ohms. Setup. Various program options can be defined by pressing the setup button. Setup level 1. The volume of the warning and monitoring sounds can be adjusted in level 1. The scale ranges from 0, that is monitoring and warning sounds are turned off, to 4, which is very loud. The adjustment of the volume is carried out by turning this knob. The setup button must be pressed for at least 2 seconds to store the selected value permanently. A monitoring sound will be emitted upon successful storage. Then the device will switch to pause mode automatically. Setup level 2. The cannula mode can be adjusted in level 2. Individual stimulation parameters differing from the manufacturer's default settings can be defined. The following should be observed. The settings for the frequency and the impulse bandwidth must be adjusted in normal operation that is, before pressing the setup button for the first time. The intensity of the current can still be varied in the setup function by turning this knob. The factory settings for the cannula mode are pulse width 100 microseconds, stimulation frequency 2 Hz, stimulation current 1.5 milliamperes. The setup button must be pressed for at least 2 seconds to permanently store the values currently indicated on the display. A monitoring sound will be emitted upon successful storage. Then the device will switch to pause mode automatically. Setup level 3. The catheter mode can be adjusted in level 3. Individual stimulation parameters differing from the manufacturer's default settings can be defined. The following should be observed. The settings for the frequency and the impulse bandwidth must be adjusted in normal operation, that is, before pressing the setup button for the first time. The intensity of the current can still be varied in the setup function by turning this knob. The factory settings for the catheter mode are pulse width 0.5 milliseconds, stimulation frequency 1 Hz. Stimulation current, 2.0 milliamperes. The setup button must be pressed for at least 2 seconds to permanently store the values currently indicated on the display. A monitoring sound will be emitted upon successful storage. Then the device will switch to pause mode automatically. Setup level 4. The threshold value at which the acoustic signal for the patient resistance will change can be adjusted in setup level 4. This setting applies for both the cannula and the catheter. Below the threshold value, single sound pulses will be emitted for every stimulation impulse. Beyond the adjusted threshold, a double sound pulse will be emitted for every patient stimulation impulse. Exceeding the predefined threshold value will also be indicated acoustically as well as visually via the analog bar graph indicator if this function has been activated. This safety function is based on the findings of Dr. Ban Sui that the patient resistance will increase significantly if the cannula penetrates the nerve wall. It is therefore possible for the first time to recognize and correct intraneural cannula placement in advance before anesthetic is injected. In our example, the nerve stimulator would also indicate this misplacement acoustically, as a threshold value of 25 kilo ohms is programmed in advance. This resistance measurement is so sensitive that a reliable result will only be guaranteed if the highly precise Pyunk stimulation cannulae are used. Setup level 5. In level 5, the pulse width can be adjusted for the cannula mode by turning this knob. You can choose between manual selection, setting 0, and automatic selection of the pulse width in compliance with the table according to Dr. Choquet Feuja, setting 1.
In the manual mode, stored as manufacturer's default setting, the pulse width can be defined by the user. It will remain constant during the complete application. Changing the current values is effected in steps. These steps will be correspondingly large at great distances to the nerve and will become smaller as the cannula approaches the nerve. In the automatic mode, the pulse width depends on the pulse current and has, on the basis of the choquet feujat table, been stored permanently in the nerve stimulator. The intention of this method is to achieve a fast, efficient approach to the nerve on the basis of a constant charge. The device will function with a greater impulse bandwidth at the beginning, which will be reduced according to the intensity of the current in the course of approaching the target nerve. This option ensures that the anaesthetist can approach the nerve in constant steps under continued muscular response and can therefore concentrate his full attention on the puncture. You can find the complete product program of Pionk at pionk.com.